Hello, this is Paul from Fossa Tech. In this video, let's prove the theorem 1.2.1 uh, called a free variable theorem for homogeneous system, linear system. Uh, the theorem gives us if uh, a homogeneous linear system has n unknowns, and if uh, the reduced row echelon has r non zero rows, and then the system has uh, m minus r free variable. So it just give us the number of the free variables for a homogeneous system. So keep in mind that for a homogeneous system. For non-homogeneous system, and the, the result does not hold. Okay, because sometimes the system is inconsistent. Okay. For homogeneous, always consistent. Let's see how to prove. Um, we start from here. The number of uh, non-zero rows. Okay. The number of uh, non zero rows okay, of uh, the reduced uh, row echelon, imagine, equals R. What that is mean? This just uh, means uh, the number of leading ones okay. equals R, right? The leading ones on the reduced row echelon. Remember that, that the definition of leading one so each row at the very beginning, we have one leading one. Uh, therefore, we have uh, R leading ones. And this means uh, the number of uh, leading variable, okay, equals R2. Because each leading one, the column of the leading one corresponding to the leading variable, we have a definition, right? And then, uh, a factor, so another, okay, we'll get a, another. We have the number of uh, all the leading variables, or we simply say the leading variables plus the number of uh, free variables. We have two part of variables. Either leading variable or free, and uh, so the sum should be the total number of variables, right? So the total unknowns. Oops. The total unknowns. Unknown it means variables. And what is the total number? The total number is n, right? Okay. So now I know this is a uh, how many. So from beginning, so now this is R. Therefore, what is the number of free value? Of course, we know, right? I have to solve this. So therefore, we solve this as a, like a linear equation. So the number of free variable equals N minus R. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so this is the proof. Um, so this concept is super important. Let me give an example, okay, so in case you miss. The number of leading variables plus the number of free variables equal to total unknowns, okay. So let me give an example, see. I'll look at this more example. If the reduced root echelon, let me say start from the reduced root echelon uh, of the augmented a matrix of a linear system, homogeneous linear system, is like this. Okay. Mm, like a one, uh, one. Okay, so I just give it this. So here should be two, here, be, uh, no, zero, zero, zero. Mm, so here is whatever. I give it to uh, like a two or one or two. So like a four zero oh no the last should be zero that zero that zero that zero so the last row is zero see this is one example uh, you can imagine so how about the, the linear system so from here we done it definitely now we have one and two leading ones right see because 
so one and the two DT ones. Okay, uh, what do we see? You can see the last uh, this is uh, uh, the constant uh, vector, the constant uh, numbers. So that's B, right? I remember that's uh, B. So here is the coefficient the matrix A. So A and B put together is the augmented. Uh, of course, this is, um, is not. Okay, this is the reduced the rational of. Uh, so I cannot say this. So keep in mind. This is the reduced the rational of uh, A and the B. Okay, imagine. So. Whatever the last column is or zero means this is a homogeneous system. So let's count how many unknowns. How many unknowns? Okay. So here, this uh, is uh, x one. This is x two. This is x three. This is x four. So what do we have? So the total number of unknowns is four. Four. Uh, nodes of four variables, right? See, this is total variables. Uh, among the total variables, we see these two. Okay, so x1 and x2 is two uh, leading variable, right? So this is two leading variables. Okay, so how about these two? So x3 and x4 should be another two free variable. Right. Can you see? And that the number of uh, the free variable. So can we find the result? Okay, so we definitely have this. So two free. So we see two free and the two leading variable put it together is a four, right? So these two and the two put together, and these two two put it together should it be equals, and the total four variables. Does that make sense? So therefore, the number of free variable equals the total the number of the total variable minus. Uh, the number of the leading variable. However, the leading variable corresponding to the leading ones. Okay, so that's the theorem. Thank you.